Welcome fellow KISS fans, welcome to It's All For You Demon, celebrating the fun of being a KISS fan. My name is Rick. Today is our first episode of a new series called The Naive Teenage Rock and Roll Mind. And this series was born, basically, during the filming of my KISS Killers Compact Disc Revenge logo vlog and mainly it's just about those silly naive thoughts we have about rock and roll when we're young and these thoughts necessarily did not have to generate in your teenage years they could be born in your childhood years any time that you were young and a rock and roll fan and brand new to this wonderful genre called rock and roll and you may have believed things that were not true. For instance, when I was a kid in the third grade, I was told that Ozzy Osbourne once came out on stage with a box of puppies and said that he would not perform that night's show until all of those puppies were dead. And if you have ever seen any of my videos, you know I'm a huge fan of the doggos. Right? So yes, we love the dogs. And you can imagine this little boy's horror growing up loving dogs. That little boy was horrified. Because in my third grade mind, I truly believed this man wanted to murder this man or woman. Now we all know that these stories are just great playground rock and roll lore. And it's part of the fun of being a rock and roll fan when you're a little kid, spreading these rumors and being like, hey, I heard Ozzy killed an entire box of puppies before he played and you know, the crowd ripped them apart. I'm sure that story was birthed out of the Alice Cooper chicken story and into Ozzy Osbourne. I highly doubt there is any truth to that story, but in St. Joseph, Missouri, 1982, that story spread like wildfire on the playground. However, today's tale of naive teenage rock and roll minds doesn't come from the teenage years. It comes from childhood and it doesn't come from me. It comes from my buddy Aaron from Illinois, who was a card carrying Kiss Army fan club member back in the day. I believe Aaron is one year younger than I am. I could be wrong. Aaron, correct me if I am wrong. I think Aaron was probably born in 1975. I was born in 74. Difference was Aaron got to experience all the fun of being a KISS fan back then, including this amazing rumor about the Destroyer record. And that rumor was that this record contained audio of this man getting into a car wreck at the end of Detroit Rock City. Now how fun is that? Little kids on the playground discussing. If you listen to Detroit Rock City, at the end, you can hear Ace Freely, the guitarist, get in a car wreck. Boom! Childhood, fandom, imagination runs wild. And that rumor spreads like wildfire. What was that game kids played? Telephone when you were little and everyone would tell each other the same thing and it would change and change as the story went on and on. I'm sure this story about Ace Freely and Kiss and that car wreck at the end of Detroit Rock City was much like that. But man, so much fun. Thank you, Aaron, for sharing that story with me. I'm sure this story probably came from people knowing about Ace Freely's car wreck before Hotter Than Hell. The fact that he could only wear half his makeup on that album cover and was had visible stitches in his head. I'm sure someone, an older fan obviously, maybe knew about that car wreck, told someone 
a friend of the band's told someone it got passed around the United States like wildfire ending in the playgrounds of America and spread child to child rock and roll legends are born ace freely got into a car wreck at the end of Detroit Rock City I did read a very interesting blurb about ace freely's DeLorean car wreck in the 80s and it was told that and this was from a DeLorean website this really had nothing to do with kiss it was told that that DeLorean still exists today the person that owns it will not release the VIN number because they don't want to be impounded by kiss fans wanting to see that car how fun would that be hey next Saturday you want to go see Ace Frehley's car he wrecked in the 80s boom rock and roll legends again because of a car wreck it's so much fun rock and roll is so much fun and these stories are so much fun when you're young the naive teenage rock and roll mind thank you for joining me on this little jaunt and reliving some of Aaron's memories on the playground and sharing them for all of us to enjoy thank you again Aaron thank you for hanging with me today if you are new here Please subscribe if you enjoy this content. Please like, share, comment below. Please comment below. Let me know some of your crazy theories you heard about KISS when you were younger. Maybe they will be shared on a future episode of the Naive Teenage Rock and Roll Mind. Thank you for hanging with me. Take care. Be safe. Be good to your babies. And I... Be good to your babies. And I will talk to you soon. She's hiding from Ozzy Osbourne. She knows he's after her. I won't finish this vlog <laughs> until every dog is gone. Large Marge, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna throw you into an audience of heavy metal concert goers. I've got your back. I've got your back. And you've got your ass in my camera. Carry on. <laughs>